Respect matters. What is respect? Respect means treating others the way you would want them to treat you. It means showing kindness to one another. We can respect a person, an animal, a plant, an object, our country, and the planet. When we treat others with respect, we earn respect from them. We can show respect through small acts of kindness every day, like Respect the effort that someone puts in his or her work. Accept when someone says no to something. Accept people for who they are, including their flaws and weaknesses. Appreciate people for trying something out, even if they fail in it. Don't judge others for the mistakes they make. Everybody deserves our respect. It has nothing to do with someone's job, status, or age. The following stories will teach you that respect is more than all of this. Story 1. Respect for Work Working hard to achieve something is worthy of our respect. Every job, however big or small, involves some effort and we must value that. We must also remember that no task is beneath us. If we can help someone by sharing their work, we must go ahead and offer to help. Mary and Jack were good friends who studied in the same class. Mary's father gave her pocket money every month with which she could buy anything she wished. On the other hand, Jack did not get any pocket money. Instead, his mother paid him for small chores he did at home, like watering the plants or cleaning his closet. Every time Jack wanted pocket money, he earned it by doing these small jobs. Assignment Did Mary's father like his daughter more than Jack's mother? What was Jack's mother trying to teach her son? Story 2. Respect for saying no Often, we face situations in which we need to make a choice. Sometimes, others may be unhappy with what we chose. Or, we may be unhappy when somebody says no to us. It is their choice, and we must respect that. Just like we want them to respect our choice of saying no. There was a party in John's class. The teacher had asked the students to bring a dish from home to share with their classmates and teachers. John's classmate Anna offered him a cupcake that she had baked. John took the cake and offered Anna a slice of chicken pizza that he had brought to the party. Anna declined the pizza since she was a vegetarian. John got upset and returned the cupcake to Anna. 
John told the teacher that Anna was being rude. But the teacher gently explained to John that he needed to respect Anna's eating habits. Assignment Why was John wrong? How can you say no without being disrespectful? Story 3 Respect for Imperfections No one is perfect and no two people are completely alike. One person may be brilliant in studies but not good in sports. Another may be tall and strong but not smart and confident. We must respect everyone for who they are. Even when someone makes a mistake, accept their flaws and help them to overcome those. A group of students went on a field trip to a military camp. During the trip, the students were going to be taken on a tanker ride. The teacher informed them that only students who wore the complete uniform would be taken on the ride. The complete uniform would also serve as a safety gear for all students. Richard was very excited about the ride, but his belt broke when he's getting ready. Since he failed to wear the full attire, his teacher did not allow him to participate in the tanker ride. Richard felt sad and angry. However, his classmate, Diana, gave him a spare belt that she had. The teacher allowed Richard to take part in the tanker ride. Richard realized that his teacher was concerned about his safety. Richard thanked Diana for her help. Assignment Why did Richard's teacher allow him to take part in the tanker ride eventually? Story 4. Respect for Participation We may not win in everything that we try. What is more important than winning is participation. We must also respect others when they take the courage to participate in something even if they fail. It was the annual sports day. Maria was excited for the running race as she had been preparing for it for over a month. Halfway after the race began, Maria's shoelaces opened, causing her to trip and fall. But she immediately picked herself up, threw away her shoes, and started running barefoot. By then, the other girls had gone far ahead of her. But she was not disheartened and continued to run at the same pace. She eventually finished last, several minutes after the other girls had completed the race. Even though she didn't win, Maria was happy. She was able to complete the race. To her surprise, she was awarded a special prize as the jury's choice. Assignment Why did Maria win the special prize? Was the jury right in giving her a prize though she did not win the race? Story 5 Respect for Reason 
There is always another side to a situation or a story. Do not judge someone for the way she or he has behaved before trying to understand the reason behind it. Respect for reason helps you understand the why behind an action. Jessica and Matthew were neighbors and friends. Their parents often took them out to play in the neighborhood park. One day, a stray dog entered the park and the children started playing with the dog. Jessica's father said she could not play with the dog and shooed him away. Jessica got upset and started crying. Then Matthew's father took the children aside and explained to them why it was not safe to play with a stray dog. When the children heard that if a stray dog bites, they could get rabies, they understood the reason behind Jessica's dad's reaction. Quickly, they forgot about the dog and resumed playing. Assignment Explain the differences between the father's behavior towards Matthew and Jessica, the children's behavior towards their fathers. It's time to put on your creative hat. Share your experience and story of how you or someone changed a situation by showing respect. You can share your thoughts by any of the following methods. Drawing, collage, video, skit, a story, a poem, or a tagline.